Well, my big project this year was to paint my kitchen. I wanted to give the kitchen a facelift, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so I painted the cabinets and the walls, the trim, and I was just about finished when I decided that it'd be a good idea to put a little beadboard molding in the eating area, and that'll keep the kitchen cleaner. It's, it's easier to wipe down the beadboard because it has a gloss finish. Now, the first step was to score the top of the base cap with the utility knife, and then I used a spackle knife and a small pry bar to remove the base cap. It's also a good idea to use a scraper or a sharp chisel to remove the paint line so you have a flush surface for your molding on the wall and on top of the baseboard. So the first step was to remove the base cap molding that was on top of the baseboard and now I'm going to build from there. Now if you've got a smaller baseboard like a small clamshell baseboard or something you can just remove the whole baseboard and start from scratch. I've drawn some of the moldings that I'll need for this project and now I'm going to go out into the barn and mill them on the table saw. I've got a piece that's going to go on top of the existing baseboard, and this is a half inch by five eighths of an inch with a slight round over. And then I've got a chair rail that measures an inch and an eighth, and this is three quarters of an inch, and this will dead end into the door casing. And then I've got a piece under the chair rail that's three quarters by two inches. All right, well I finished making all the molding and now I'm ready to start installing it. Now generally, I like to pre-prime the molding before I install it, but I just don't have the time because we're using the kitchen as I'm working on it and I'd like to get out of there by about five or six o'clock tonight. But before I go inside, let me just show you the molding that I made and tell you the router bits that I used. This is the small piece of molding that sits on top of the baseboard. It measures a half of an inch by five eighths and it has a small round over on it. Now this piece of molding sits under the chair rail, it's two inches by three quarters, and this is made with the chamfer bit. And then on top of the two inch piece of molding is a three quarter inch piece by an inch and an eighth, and that has a small round over on the bottom and a small round over on the top. To help me with my measurements, I cut two scrap pieces of the beadboard and I laid them on top of the baseboard. And basically what I'm trying to do is have a similar reveal on each side of the beadboard where the beadboard connects or hits the wall. I'll need to cut a hole in the beadboard for this outlet. So I'm going to measure from the wall and it looks like 13 to 14 and 7 eighths. So I'll write that right on the wall. And then the height from the top of the molding that I just put on top of the baseboard is nine and an eighth to 12 and a half. I don't have a stud at the edge of the beadboard, but I do have glue behind the beadboard, so I'm going to nail at an angle, one nail, then two nails, and that'll kind of pinch the MDF beadboard to the wall and act as a clamp until the glue sets up. Putting a little more glue on the wall, and the next piece that will go on is the two inch piece.
I finished the back wall and now I'm moving on to the side wall. And to get the piece of beadboard to a more manageable size, I'll first cross cut it with this jig that I made for my circular saw. And if you don't have a table saw, this is a great jig and you could use it for the whole job. If you want to know how to make the jig, I'll put a link on the screen. I've just about finished and the last thing I'm going to do is attach the top of the chair rail and I wanted to point out how it dead ends into the casing. Well, it was good to finish the project in a day, but I probably didn't do as well with the video work. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or send me an email and I'll answer those questions in another video. And as soon as that video is done, I'll put a link on the screen. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.